Governor, WHAS 11's Bobby McSwine is at Kelly Craft's watch party. That's happening in Lexington. But first, Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Ian Hardwitt are at the Galt House downtown for the campaign of Daniel Cameron. Isaiah, we've had severe weather today, complicated and already very low turnout that was predicted. What have you learned about that? Well, Doug, that's been the big story, right? How does this weather, especially uh, this morning into this afternoon, affect the overall voter turnout? I can say here in Jefferson County, I was just told by the Jefferson County Clerk's Office that right now they sit at about 11 percent, which about reflects what has been projected on a state level. Now, again, we do have about an hour, just under an hour uh, left for folks to go ahead and place their vote. So we do have some time for that to potentially increase. So as far as primary is concerned, that's even considered low for that. It's something that Michael Adams, the Secretary of State, has talked about in length. He projected about 10 to 15 percent. So we're understanding that this could be a, a few votes that could potentially uh, separate candidates here, all things considered. Uh, we do want to mention we've spoken with political science professors over at UK here at U of L uh, for months now about who low voter turnout may benefit. In this case, we do understand that primaries in general, name recognition, brand goes a very, very long way. But with low voter turnout, according to one UK professor, Stephen Voss, he tells me that that actually really levels the playing field. So so pretty much nothing is, is is out of the realm of possibility at this point. So it'll be very interesting to watch going into tonight after polls close how this stacks out. Of course, uh, Daniel Cameron being the front runner, the attorney general in all three independent polls we've seen to this point. Uh, we do understand, though, that those polls can be uh, misleading at times, depending on uh, population. I don't want to say misleading, but goes on different populations as far as who they're focusing on. So uh, it is not necessarily necessarily the teller on who will be the ultimate winner here. We do want to talk about Daniel Cameron's general campaign strategy has been less about attacking other candidates like a Kelly Kraft and more uh, touting his support from law enforcement, his support and endorsement from former President Donald Trump, and of course, bringing up repeatedly his ability to beat current Governor Andy Bashir. We'll be right back here live here at six o'clock as polls close and we begin to count those up, hoping for no delays here tonight as well. Doug Shea, I'll send it back to you. Right, Isaiah, thank you very much. Well, Kelly Craft has spent millions of her own money on her race for governor tonight. We'll see if that pays off. Certainly going to be interesting with what she spent compared to the voter turnout, uh, Shay. And Craft is holding her election night party at a Lexington mainstay, the Campbell House. WHS 11's Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Alyssa Newton are there live. And Bobby, is there any sense that this low voter turnout could provide an upset tonight? Well, Doug, anything can happen. Like Isaiah said, we do know that Kelly Craft has spent about $10 million of her own money on this campaign, and she had a last minute push with a big name. Texas Senator Ted Cruz came out on Saturday to a campaign event in Louisville to support her, saying that she is the leader that Kentucky needs. Now, Craft has campaigned on putting an end to, quote, wokeism in schools. Her running mate, Senator Max Wise, authored a bill that bans gender affirming care in the state, which Craft fully supports. She she also went after the Kentucky Department of Education and credits herself with Jason Glass's future departure. Now, right now, the doors have not opened here. About 30 minutes there will, and I'm sure supporters will pour in, and I'll have more for you at the next hour at 6 o'clock. But for now, I'm live in Lexington. Bobby McSwine, WHAS 11, on your side.